New York School's Taiwan Banned Video Calling App, Zoom. Taiwan has banned all government use of Zoom, a popular video conferencing app. The government published a statement on April 7 citing security concerns as the reason for the ban. They directed officials to other major international information service providers providing free software during the coronavirus pandemic, such as Microsoft or Google. According to their security risk assessments, the two can be considered for use if video conferencing is necessary. Zoom has been facing public backlash over their security practices amid concerns that user data is routed through China. On April 3, Zoom CEO Eric Yuan said that several calls were mistakenly routed through China. Yuan explained that in their urgency to come to the aid of people around the world during this unprecedented pandemic, Zoom added server capacity and deployed it first in China. However, in that process, Zoom failed to fully implement their usual geofencing best practices. Yuan admitted that it is possible certain meetings were allowed to connect to systems in China where they should not have been able to connect. Zoom's statement caused panic for users considering China is known for not enforcing strict data privacy laws. According to Business Insider, China could conceivably demand that Zoom decrypt the contents of encrypted calls. A team of researchers from the University of Toronto also discovered that Zoom sometimes distributes encryption keys through servers in China, even for clients outside China. Zoom has been used by schools, businesses, and even the UK cabinet for meetings during lockdowns. Aside from the Taiwanese government, Elon Musk's SpaceX, NASA, the New York City Department of Education, and the Clark County School District in Nevada have banned or disabled access to Zoom. Aerospace company SpaceX had told employees in a memo to instead use email, text, or phone as alternate means of communication. According to Forbes, NASA has also prevented its employees from accessing Zoom. New York City schools have been advised to transition to other platforms, such as Microsoft Teams, while Clark County schools have disabled access to Zoom out of an abundance of caution. While Zoom has promised to revisit its security and privacy practices, Fortune magazine reported that Zoom stock dropped by 14.5% on the morning of April 6. Zoom is now working around the clock to correct security faults.